I always wanted a beautiful laundry room that I actually wanted to do laundry in. And our builder grade laundry room just wasn't cutting it. I started out by taking down this cabinet. Other than housing our detergents, it really wasn't used that often and it was tough for me to reach. I then removed the backsplash that was on this counter. This was to prepare for the wall treatment. This was also my first time painting a cabinet and I decided to go with this mint green. I absolutely love how it turned out. Make sure that if you're painting cabinetry that you use a good primer and sand down your surfaces first so that the paint has something better to adhere to. I wanted to brighten up this entire room and get rid of this gray. So I decided to go the shiplap route. I know this might not be everybody's taste, but when you see the final result, you'll love it too. And when I was putting up the shiplap, I made sure to paint all the grooves prior to putting on the next board so that I didn't have to paint it later. I also felt that this corner had to stay 45 I just thought it looked a lot more sleek. Now this back wall I did have to fill and sand a little bit and I did put a coat of primer on it and you'll see why shortly. Now this shiplap took me a long time to do. This laundry room isn't huge but it is a lot of wall area to cover. There was some late 2 a.m. nights and with a two-year-old I was pretty exhausted at this point and didn't know if I was gonna be able to complete this but we carried on. Once all that shiplap was done I started to frame out the top just to give it a little bit more of a finished look and then got painting the walls. I used Santilly Lace by Benjamin Moore for this as well as a small foam roller. Can't see much of a difference but I promise you it did. Now here comes the favorite part of this entire build, the wallpaper. When I tell you this wallpaper brought this room to life, it really brought this room to life. And not only because it's greenery, but it just felt light and airy exactly what this laundry room needed head and this trim piece was a little bit in the way but I did just cut around it. Now I do recommend doing this with two people so that it's easier to line up the seams and easier to get all the bubbles out. This wallpaper is perfect for this space and I'm so happy I went with it. Then something flew into my dryer and it freaked me the heck out, but I think eventually it flew out. I then picked up this pine board from Home Depot to make a shelf out of it above the washer and dryer. And I was almost too accurate with how I cut it because this thing was snug and it's never gonna get out of here. Sorry, not sorry to the next person who buys my house, if we ever sell. I then put some wood conditioner on here and applied some stain, which I did not love, so I actually ended up putting on a warmer stain on top of it just to warm it up a bit. I then started to build the beams, wanted the seamless look, so I kept them 45, and I had to put studs up on the ceiling for these to attach to. I roughed up the edges to make it look a little bit more rustic, used my favorite stain, Aged Wood by Ferrothane, and then nailed them to the supports that I had put up previously. There was one more thing missing in this laundry room and it was a shelf above our sink, but I also wanted it to fit perfectly in the corner so I did have to jigsaw out the corner and it is so satisfying how good of a cut this was. Did the same steam application to this as I did the shelf above the laundry machine. And now here it is all finished. I absolutely love how it turned out. This is a space that I want to do laundry in now. My kids can even do their own laundry because they can reach the detergents in the sink cabinet now. So if you love home DIY, feel free to keep following along as there are more rooms to come.